Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we will be delving into Palantir. Our initial report was released on our website on Tuesday, April 16th, 2024, and now we are providing you with a more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay updated on any important developments that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by utilizing our newly introduced AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 on stockinvest.us. Harness the potential of AI to receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies globally today. Please be aware that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Since April 3, 2024, our system has identified Palantir as a sell candidate with a score of minus 3.94. Now let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. The stock has seen a decrease of minus 3.61%. This results in an average daily loss of 0.36% since being labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently positioned in the lower part of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term, presenting a potential buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $21.42 is breached, it may signal a slower rate of ascent and possibly a trend reversal. Over the next three months, the stock shows a projected 27.81% change, with a potential return ranging from 25.14% to 70.74%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend indicates an 82.3% change, offering a potential return between 55.73% and 131.72%. This could result in a price range of $34.07 to $50.70 by the end of the year. Here's the latest update on Palantir. Palantir stock price decreased by 0.0913% on Tuesday. On the last trading day, Tuesday, 16 April 2024, Palantir's stock price dropped from $21.88, marking a decline for the third consecutive day. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated between $21.27 and $21.99, experiencing a 3.39% variability. Over the past 10 days, the stock price has fallen seven times, resulting in a total decrease of 3.7%. The trading volume also decreased by 4 million shares, with a total of 34 million shares exchanged for approximately $734.40 millions. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, Palantir's stock reached a high of $27.50 and a low of $7.28. Currently, the stock price is 20.44%, 5.62, below the 52-week high and 51.38%, 23 below the all-time high on January 27, 2021 when it peaked at $45. Analyst ratings on Thursday, March 28, 2024, RBC Capital gave PLN underperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, March 28, 2024, Wedbush gave PLTR a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, March 28, 2024, Monis gave PLTR a sell grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, March 7, 2024, Wedbush gave PLTR a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, March 7, 2024, RBC Capital gave PLTR an underperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock and buy rating. Palantir's current signals indicate a lack of positive technical indicators. The stock is showing sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, suggesting a negative outlook. Additionally, there is a sell signal from the relationship between the two averages, with the long-term average positioned above the short-term average. Resistance levels are expected at $22.50 and $23.93 cents, with buy signals possible if these levels are surpassed. A sell signal was triggered on March 7, 2024, resulting in a 17.31% decline, indicating a potential further drop until a new bottom pivot is established. The three-month moving average convergence divergence MAD, also shows a sell signal. Despite a decrease in volume alongside the price, reducing overall risk, 
Caution is advised as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, sell signal, 28 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 12 days ago, short-term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 17 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average, buy signal 16 days ago, the long-term moving average, buy signal 50 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 48 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palantir Palantir's support level is at $21.87, backed by accumulated volume. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as an upward reaction is likely when tested. The stock exhibits average daily movements with moderate risk due to good trading volume. In the past day, the stock fluctuated 72 cents, 3.39% between its high and low points. Over the last week, the stock's daily average volatility has been 3.8%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Palantir, let's review some key fundamental data. Firstly, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio, compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. This high P.E. ratio indicates possible overvaluation, common in tech companies with significant market potential. The next earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for May 13, 2024. Analysts predict earnings at 0.8 Rotvoth, which could significantly impact stock prices. Now, let's explore potential day trading levels for Palantir. In an upward trend, Palantir faces its first resistance at $23.60. If you're not already invested, consider waiting for this level to break before entering a position. For current shareholders, this could be a key level for swing trading. Conversely, the first support level for Palantir is at $21.87. If this support holds, it might present a favorable entry point with the expectation of a bounce. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On April 1, 2024, Schiff Alexandra W. conducted an insider sell of 5,000 shares of Class A common stock. On April 1, 2024, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 20,000 shares of Class A common stock. On March 31, 2024, Taylor Ryan D. conducted an insider buy of 173,838 shares of Class A common stock. On March 31, 2024, Glazer David A. conducted an insider buy of 173,038 shares of Class A common stock. On March 15, 2024, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider sell of 6,000 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 41.945. Overall, insiders purchased 17,077 shares and sold 19,027,815 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock, and no stop loss has been set. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Despite a positive trend, the Palantir stock shows several negative signals, leading us to predict weak performance in the coming days or weeks. Our evaluation of this stock is negative. Upon analyzing recent volatility and movements, our systems suggest that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, April 17th, we anticipate Palantir to open down halved 67 cents and begin trading at $21.71. Trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. Prior to making any investment decisions, it is essential to consult with a financial advisor. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. Your use of this information implies your acceptance of responsibility for your investment actions. Share your thoughts on our current stock view. What's your target price? Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Wishing you success in your trades.
Have a great day from Stock Invest.